As you've heard us say before, this business comes down to people and trucks. And when you're thinking about your strategy around trucks, one strategy we see regularly is to use leased vehicles. These are options that cover all of your repair and maintenance expenses and turn your future CapEx spend into a fixed monthly payment. You'll be able to run the current vehicle for three years then turn around and renew the lease with a new vehicle. Full service leases generally give you the peace of mind of knowing you have new vehicles on the road, they improve quality of life for your drivers since they're in better vehicles all day, and they generally make the operation run more smoothly. But as I mentioned, you are paying a fixed price each month to cover your repair and maintenance and the lease fee, which essentially replaces your CapEx. Because of the way we look at leases as an operational expense, that means they affect the net operating income and the valuations of the business. CapEx is always an expense that will affect your business in the future, but leases make those expenses more obvious. We'll typically see businesses with fully leased fleets sell at a slightly higher multiple. If you think about it, the CapEx being paid up front will lower the NOI, but it's not changing the real value of the business if you were to compare it to the same business with owned trucks. That means the multiple may look a little bit higher for those businesses with leased vehicles, but at the end of the day, that shouldn't hurt your opinion of that business. Instead, just realize that it's a reflection of that CapEx moving into a below-the-line monthly expense instead of one you would ultimately still have to plan for in the future.